I was in the middle of making this when I came across this. Basically, Moyle kinda did this in the past, so if you enjoy, feel free to check his out. Whether you want to believe it or not, we are already on the 7th calendar year of Brawl Stars being global. Now, it's pretty agreeable that that's a very long time. That also means, however, that they have had a lot of time to release some of the most broken brawlers you have ever seen. So here's my history lesson on the past of broken brawlers. So we're gonna start back in 2018 with Daryl. Now, technically this was nerfed before the game's global release, but it was still close enough and I had to include it. Basically, he at one point had a super that would travel 23 tiles when he used it. This was insane. Now, he could cross the entire map without any struggle and as you can imagine, this was extremely broken in some game modes. Even though this did get nerfed eventually, he then moved into a Steel Hoops era where that star power was just too strong. At the same exact time, Leon was released. On his release, his attacks were deadly, his super lasted pretty long, and for a short time there was no detection range while invisible. This means that he could be standing next to someone and they would not have a clue. On top of that though, his stats were way too high and he would end up seeing 5 nerfs within the first 4 months of his existence. But we then go into 2019, where we were eventually welcomed with Rosa. She was released with a broken super. It blocked 80% of damage for a total of 6 seconds, and in so many cases, she could just refill a super by the time it's done and use it again, and she basically had a permanent 80% health shield. She was also released as a rare, so like, everybody got her really fast. Luckily, there was no hesitation in realizing how broken she was because she was nerfed 4 days after her release, and then 3 weeks later, and then again 3 weeks later. Now you may be wondering, what good does it do me knowing which brawlers were broken in 2019? How can I gain from that? Well, I have an answer for you. You can't. Wait, no 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 no. You can! Allow me to introduce you to Repeat.gg, the sponsor for today's video. Repeat.gg is an esports tournament platform where you can make a free account and you can earn cash and prizes by playing Brawl Stars tournaments or many other of your favorite games. Brawl Stars is their first mobile title which is just awesome, and all you have to do to begin earning is just create a Repeat.gg account and link it to your Brawl Stars account. Account. After that, you can click on compete to join a tournament and immediately, the matches you play will be tracked and you'll receive points for winning, but you'll lose points for losing. But don't worry, you'll always win a lot more points than you'd lose. You can enter into numerous tournaments at once and even if you're not the best player, that doesn't matter as you can still receive payout for placing in the top 30 to 40%. Repeat.gg is actively giving out over $80,000 in prizes every month and they're planning to increase that number. It's just that easy. There's a link in the pinned comment below and in the description. So if you want to earn big, I'd suggest you take a look. Thank you Repeat.gg for sponsoring this video and let's take a look at the next broken brawler. Next up came 8-Bit and as you may know, he was released with Extra Life. This was the star power that would allow players to respawn in any game mode including Showdown where it would show its greatest degree of brokenness. Now, it would slowly receive a few nerfs over the next few weeks, but then it was deemed unfixable and it was finally removed. Then, at the end of 2019, B was released and she had the Honeycoat star power that let her evade death. Basically, it was like a nerfed extra life. This star power received one nerf before being removed entirely. However, this was not fixed until March 15th of 2021. In other words, 2019 basically had two nearly back-to-back -back releases of brawlers who just couldn't be taken down. We then move into 2020, and first on that list is Sprout. On release, Sprout had a very wide attack radius, and on top of that, with overgrowth, every attack had a wider radius. Sprout also had a super that charged in 4 hits, making it pretty easy to trap enemies within those little walls. Sprout began seeing nerfs within 1 week of being released. All was well until a few months later when Surge was released. His to the max star power used to split after hitting nothing. It almost made him like a juicier version of Spike. This took 2 months to nerf, but in that time, he was a very powerful unit. We then fast forward to October of 2020, when Amber was released. Amber, in her beginning days, was a damage dealing machine. She was able to fill up her supers significantly fast, burn enemies, refill her super, and she even ran pretty fast. But like everyone else, she got hit with quite a few game changing nerfs. We then move on to 2021, and the first broken brawler of that year would be the one and only Colonel Ruffs. I'm honestly honored to say that Ruffs actually served a brief role as a broken brawler. When Colonel Ruffs was first released, his unload speed was fast. This meant that he, 
a brawler who's meant to keep his distance was actually very efficient at close encounters. As long as he didn't need to reload, Ruffs got to stay in the state for over two whole months before he finally got a nerf. And on March 15th of 2021, still was released. His super had knockback on release, and you've probably heard me say that before, but let me remind you, it was a bad time to be a Frank man. This knockback mayhem was rightfully removed relatively quickly. Bell was the next brawler to be released, and she was also broken. Bell was released with infinite bounces. This meant that when you had that one teammate, you were screwed. This was also during the prime era of Mapmaker, so those little boxy maps were really unpleasant to play when you had a Bell on the other team. Bell remained in this powerful state for two months before being nerfed. In the June 2021 update, El Primo, as well as three other brawlers, received a trait where they could fill their supers by taking damage. At the same time, El Primo could also fill his super by only landing 9 attacks. As you can imagine, this made El Primo insanely strong, especially in Showdown. In the end, his trait was nerfed after one day, and a bit later, his supercharge from attacking was drastically reduced, which led to a pretty quick solution to his problems. In September of 2021, Meg was released. Meg started off not as broken as the other brawlers, but still broken enough to be featured on here, I guess. Basically, at the start, her mecha was fair and balanced, but the problem laid in the fact that she could lose her super, immediately fill it, and then use it again. She used to take 6 shots to fill a super, which was actually doable if she had full ammo. Luckily, she saw a quick nerf to her ammo after losing her mecha. She would remain balanced until she became Meg 2.0 when her star power's capabilities took off and she simultaneously became the teaming queen in showdowns. When Lola was released, her damage was just a bit too high, but the actual brokenness came into play when she used her super. Basically, the ego would do 100% of Lola's damage within any distance of the actual brawler, and this basically meant that you could just put your super right at your feet, and then you'd have double output per attack. This was nerfed a bit over a month later. Now moving on to 2022, we saw Eve release in early March. Eve was quite a lot to deal with in her early days. She had too much health, did too much damage, and she had an attack that moved too fast, and she charged her super a bit too soon. Oh, and um, every third egg that made contact with an enemy would spawn a hatchling if she had Happy Surprise active. She made the spawner meta a brutal thing to have to deal with. In May of 2022, Janet came out. Janet wasn't necessarily the most broken on the list, but she still had a few rather unpleasant features that we had to put up with. Her brokenness primarily came from a super that charged in 5 attacks and a gadget that was strong and it could also be dropped while she was flying. Luckily enough, both of these issues were resolved within the first few weeks. And in June 2022, Penny was reworked. When she was reworked, she was given a whole new everything, but with a whole new everything, that meant that some of the stats were a bit too strong. As you can imagine, she was nerfed the next day. Her cannon had a fire rate of 2.5 seconds, and that was just a bit too overwhelming. And then Sam was released on September 5th of 2022. With his release was the Hardy Recovery Star Power. It served an amazing fundamental use. However, its fundamental use was given a percent that was just a little bit too high. Eventually, it lost a third of its healing potential, and it entered a bit of a more balanced state. In November of 2022, Buster was released. And, well, Buster was basically 2022's Rosa. He joined Brawl Stars with pretty much all of his stats being too strong. In fact, his stats were so good that he saw a total of 10 nerfs within his first two months of being released. Then in December of 2022, two broken brawlers were released on the same day, Chester and Gray. As for Chester, his stun super was very powerful and it made such a broken impact that it received four nerfs all at once three weeks after Chester's release. At the same time, his regular attack was also way too strong. When he was released, Chester could one-shot 20 different brawlers, so it was important for them to take action swiftly. Gray, on the other hand, took two additional weeks for his full brokenness to be unleashed when the Grand Piano Gadget became available. His Grand Piano Gadget looked marvelous as it would fall and create a massive divot in the map. The only problem was this thing was too strong. It covered an insane amount of area. At the same time though, Grace Super teleported all friendly brawlers instantly. Did you ever play the game during that time? If so, do you remember the Jackie Gray bow strat and knockout? Chances are, you most likely have. And now, in 2023, the first broken brawler to be released would be RT in March. When RT was released, his second form allowed him to unload all of his attacks really, really fast. This meant that he could deal 20,000 damage in one second if the enemy was close. As you can imagine, this was really frustrating and we saw balance changes for a lot in about 6 weeks. He also had another Crimson RT glitch, but that's a story for another day. And then in April of 2023, 
Shelly's movement speed was drastically increased, and this was total overkill. You could combine that with the speed gear or pretty much anything else, and she instantly became one of the fastest brawlers to ever see the battlefield, and considering that she's meant to be up close, this was really unpleasant for any enemy. I'll put it this way, you did not want to play Cavern Churn during this era, but eventually her movement speed was nerfed. And then in June of 2023, Hank was released. You may know him as like a joke of a brawler now, but at the start, he had too much health, he did too much damage, he had a super that was too strong, and I guess he was just extremely broken. Not to mention, his attacks did a lot of damage if he got power cubes, and it was like, pretty scary. He would end up receiving two large waves of nerfs, and then a bit later he would be labeled as one of the worst brawlers ever. And unfortunately, they still see him like that. In July of 2023, Cordelius was released. At the beginning, Cordelius could do anything while in his Shadow Realm. That meant he could charge a super, use his super again, and hit them with that one mushroom gadget. Which, by the way, lasted even longer than it does now. But luckily, balance changes fixed this madness real fast. And then we fast forward all the way to November of 2023, when Charlie was released. On release, her super was strong, her attack was way too fast, and her spiders were pretty dang tanky. Even now, she has that one duos thing where they can survive forever in the storm, but it doesn't seem like anyone's willing to fix that at the given moment. And in December of 2023, Fang was given a hypercharge. This ability lasted 6 days before it got a nerf, but before that, it literally allowed Fang players to blindly spam supers and wipe out the entire enemy team, even in 5v5s, and it was brutal. The community hated this, and it became one of the most well-known, no-skill moments of all time. On December 28th of 2023, Kit was released in early access. On release, he could use infinite supers if he had enough power cubes. He was invincible if he latched on an enemy who already couldn't do anything, and this literally created a situation where all a Kit had to do was get a few power cubes and showdown for a pretty much guaranteed win. This absolutely ruled the meta for a course of a week or two, and there was absolutely no stopping it until Kit finally received some very well-deserved nerfs. And finally, in 2024, there has been one brawler released so far, and well, well, it's unfathomable. Nice, At least they're somewhat nerfed now. As you can see, we've had quite our fair share of broken brawlers throughout the years, but they all eventually kind of get fixed. Anyways, that's all I have for today, so thank you very much for sticking to the end, and I will see you next time.